Welcome to Booking It. Today's episode will be The Iliad of Homer, Part 4, Books 13 through 17. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Booking It. I'm, of course, your eloquent host, Cooper Cobbs. Join me today. I have three fine, fine, fine fellas. Ooh, wow. One might fine, say, fine, fine. Whoa. One might say, Was that one for each of us? Yeah. <laughs> you forgot yourself, though. It's okay. Ooh. I'm eloquent. So you guys are fine. I'm eloquent. But uh, oh. some might say they're even godlike. So on the left here, Ooh. we have Ooh. more like godly, I should say. There, godly. There That's more like it. Much better. Over here, Much better. In the Michigan hat for the second day in a row, Isaiah Ritzke. Hey, what's up? Over there, <laughs> in the polo, sharp looking cobalt, no, cobalt. Uh, Heather Gray, blue, Heather Blue. There you go. Heather Blue. Polo. Yes. Tana Lewis. Yes. And Howdy. Next to me, Great Smoky Mountains. I like the sh- like the shirt. Oh yeah, boys. Bryson I'm Bostwick. Here. Thanks. And uh, guys, we've done a lot, a lot of podcasting over the last two days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. So just much. I'm in so podcasting much. mode right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, by the way, guys, we forgot to mention that uh, we um, were supposed to read book 13 last week, but <laughs> <laughs> somehow failed to. Somehow we all missed that. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing book 13 this week as well, but not a lot happened in book 13. So yeah, it's so okay. Now we have five books this week. Now we have five books, and I was like way behind on reading, but I got it all done. Like yeah. Them, so. yeah. By the way, guys, there's some big news that we should say. It's big, not the big. fact that they got into college. It's oh, not that no, fact no, at no, all. Okay. But <laughs> it is the fact that somehow the weather is actually cool here in Texas. That's insane. Yeah. The high is like 85 today. That's crazy. Tomorrow, the high is 70. No way. It's insane. It's, it's insane. incredible. I can almost. And then it's going to go right back up. But still. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? No, let's, let's have some fun while we can. <laughs> all right. Well, let's, so. let's get into our sarcastic summary of what happened in the Iliad. Books 13 through 17. We're just going to all do it together because oh, we didn't okay, assign okay, it. Because I was about to say, yeah. I wasn't assigned one. Uh, well, Tanner, I don't Tanner is really excited for one portion, and we're not going to give that portion to him. because <laughs> <laughs> Wise, wise. It's very wise. Okay, uh-huh. so book 13, fighting happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to remember. It starts right? with Poseidon. Poseidon is like oh, yeah. behind, going behind Zeus's back. And he's oh, yeah. Like, I guess I'm we need gonna, to talk about that. that. Is that I book forgot. 14 or book 13? That's 13. It starts in 13. He's, he's like going behind Zeus's back. Actually, that's a like, pretty cool part because it's like describing Poseidon like in the water and mm-hmm. with all his kingdoms and, and stuff. I kinda, and I kind of sometimes like, I keep forgetting who he is. I'm like, what the the god of the earthquakes? Like what? what? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's Poseidon. Just the god of the water. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, I don't think anything else happens in book thirteen of note. Mm. Battle, Ajax fighting. Mm-hmm. Okay, book fourteen. Now this is the best opening line in the entire Iliad to a book. Now Nestor. Failed not to hear their outcry, though he was drinking his wine. I love it. <laughs> hey, he heard them. He was drinking, all right, but he heard them. Mm-hmm. So, book fourteen, we have more fighting. Oh, oh, fighting. Uh, in, in, in thirteen, Ares, Ares tries to get in the fight too. Oh, he does. He goes yeah. back in after getting. No, he, he tries. He tries, mm-hmm. and Poseidon's like, no, no, you can't get in there. He, uh, and who is it? Um. Oh, he's like, why is why is Poseidon able to do his his secret stuff and like urge them on? He's not like actually fighting, but Ares wants to go down there and like gotcha. actually compel fight. them because because you know Poseidon keeps like taking on the voice of other men. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh right, right, right. He keeps like incarnating himself with different people. <laughs> yeah, like I will possess your body next and in- urge your <laughs> team on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're next. That's, that's what it is. Take yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay, as a as a broad view though, Achilles is still sitting out. All the main um, Greek people are injured, like Diomedes, mm-hmm. Odysseus. Ajax, they're all injured. Everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the Trojans are steadily pushing towards. They're the breaking down the wall. And yeah. Agamemnon's being a crybaby and wanting to go back home. Middle East actually kind of, is kind of a beast in, in this section, though. Yeah. And especially is. when we get to Patroclus. Anyway, so that happens. And then Poseidon is not very happy about this because mm-hmm. he likes the Greeks. He probably has a couple of sons in the Greeks. I oh, yeah. I'm sure, I'm Honestly, sure. all the gods have some of the They have some sort of relations. Yeah. Yeah, relations. Yes, many relations. Um, <laughs> then at a certain point, Hera goes up to the mountain and uh, he'll get some help from the goddess of Eros love um, mm-hmm. and basically seduces Zeus and the god of sleep yeah, yeah by the way I, okay I wonder if this was a part what part was ironic right where um, Zeus is like you know very obviously attracted to Hera because mm-hmm. he's done all this stuff and then he goes man you're like way more attractive than this girl <laughs> and that girl <laughs> this other girl that I all was with other and that lady <laughs> addict kid oh with my gosh. and I, I, it's got to be ironic it has to be <laughs> and if not, it is ironic anyway, for us looking back. Yeah. So anyway, that's what happens. Mm-hmm. Poseidon, while Zeus is kind of being, you know, uh, he's asleep. He's asleep. Um, mm-hmm. the Zeus kind of, <laughs> as Poseidon goes Can't and helps fun. out the Greeks, and the Greeks mm-hmm. start pushing back, pushing back wow. the Trojans. Wow. Yeah. Then Zeus wakes up. Well, and you, and for, you forgot that at that one point, uh, Poseidon went down there, and Poseidon. That's right. Was Poseidon went really, down there. Yeah. 
really gets the manpower with him. Yeah. 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 And then Zeus wakes up and he's like, Can we go to book? He's like, you got to get out of there. 15 when Zeus wakes up. Yeah. I think, right? Yep. And, and he's not very happy, even though Hera swears on she did many things <laughs> on, on their marriage bed <laughs> <laughs> that she wasn't lying, which is, again, hopefully and he ironic. Her. He <laughs> believes her, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, tries to, he, he, he wants to believe her, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so Zeus kind of helps out the Greeks, the Trojans again. They're pushing back. And then Patroclus loses it. And Tanner, tell us what happens. Patroclus loses it. He goes to Achilles. What happens next? He goes to Achilles, and he says to Achilles, Just let me go fight. Let me pretend to be you. Let me fight. Let me fight. Let me After fight. Nestor had said, you should, wear, uh, you should wear Achilles' armor and go fight. Yes. Yes. After he says that. And then he, he proceeds to, you know, Achilles is like, Oh, you little crybaby. You want to go help them? Oh, that's so cute. It was like, why are you crying? <laughs> Is it like people are dying or something? Can't be that. <laughs> no, wait, tell me. Tell me. I'm, I'm dying to know. Okay, uh, I'm dying to know. <laughs> tell me. Why are you crying? Yep. Yeah. And then, you know, he proceeds to give him his armor. And he's like, hey, Zeus, protect my boy over here and my army. You know, let him come back safe. Okay. He says and let things. him destroy. Yeah. Very well, I'm, I'm, I'm going into that. Okay. okay I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fine. You're just he, being very vague. He asked, for, just, yeah. he asked for two things. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Cooper. Okay, it's the segment. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for two things. He's like, let my boy come home safe to me. And then the second thing is, let him kill many people before he does uh, it. <laughs> let him kill many. <laughs> yeah. He, he says, push them back from the ships and also bring him home safe. And Zeus, and like, Zeus is kind of like, give you one. Yeah, he's like, I'll give you one of those. <laughs> okay. I'll give you one of those. But Achilles doesn't know that. Yeah. Let me go to the end of the section without <laughs> Achilles knowing. And we're all like, yay. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Right. It's really <laughs> weird. Like he kind of cut off right before he finds out. And for some reason, all throughout this, I was like, oh, oh, it could, it could go the right way. It could go the right way. And then Zeus finally pronounces his judgment. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. oh, it's final. It's yeah. done. Yeah. Like, so then Patrick. <laughs> for some reason, I still had hope, even though I knew what the book was going to happen. <laughs> what was going to happen in the book? You I was should like, never have hope. Come on. <laughs> no, this never. Dead, no. I love uh, how he like, somehow Patrick like, Cross will live. I knew that. I knew when Zeus said it that it was final. But like anything that Zeus says can be taken back in like thirty seconds. True. True. <laughs> he's, wor- he's not very immutable. <laughs> yeah. Right, precisely. Yeah. Anyway, Patrick Cross goes out. Actually, is kind of a beast. Says some pretty heroic things. Rouses yeah. everybody. Kills uh, Hector. Gets scared. Sarpedon. Yeah. The, the guy Sarpedon. that tore down the the rampart. And Zeus is kind of like, oh man. Kind of like Sarpedon. Was it? Well, he, he was his son. It was his son. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wanted to spare him. Right. But and then Hera's like, bruh. Nah. nah. The amount of sons that Zeus had on the battlefield yeah, is just kind of, like. It's <laughs> kind of his fault. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. But anyway. <laughs> but like, it's kind of depressing how like little Zeus cared. He's like, oh, that was yeah. my son. I'm kind, I'm kind of sad. Kind of sad. Okay. 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 Hector. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. He I'm immediately was like, my, my, my <laughs> son died. Patroclus must die now. I mean, he had already said he was going to die, but he was like. I really want him to die now that he exactly. killed Sarpedon. And, and then, then, and then, uh, yeah, you're, right, you're about right, to say this, but, and then he's like, okay, I'll give some glory to Hector. He's like, Hector, you now go kill uh, Patroclus, which it, in the events, it doesn't, like reading it, I didn't really feel like Hector deserved much of that kill. Right. No, it very obviously no. is portrayed as, and um, uh, Patroclus says this to him, Bru- like you're my third killer. Yeah. Okay. You like, can't claim. First crew. Apollo, literally I, the God Apollo was right, the one that knocked me, me down. Around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Apollo. <laughs> I got stabbed with, through the gut with a spear. Mm-hmm. So yeah, <laughs> that happened. And now you're like trying to gloat over me, bro. Oh, no, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. So lame. It's like his final no, words then, are like, bro, you're so lame. No, no, but then, but he's like, <laughs> then he's like, you think you're going to kill me, but let's guess what? Like, Achilles, Achilles is coming Achilles, after you. He's yeah. far greater than I am, as you have said, and he's mm-hmm. gonna kick your butt. Yeah, yeah. And, and then literally, boy. Zeus is like, okay, he's, okay, he, okay, Zeus is like, Patroclus is kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Hector steals his armor, and Zeus no, no, is no, like, but this is very part. Like Menelaus is like standing over Patroclus, mm-hmm. and he's like, no, nah, refuse. And they're like, Menelaus, they're like hundreds of people here. Like, you oh gotta, you're gonna die. Bro. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Menelaus is kind of a boss. And then he that calls that. out. And then Ajax comes, and Ajax is with him for a while, and yep. then Idomenes and Marinese and all the all other the big bees. guys that are still left. Yeah, They're still in play. They they come in. They get Patroclus' body, but Hector steals his armor. Right. And Hector mm-hmm. is like, ah, I got his armor now. And yeah. And then Zeus is kind of like, it's it's like it becomes fine. A, I'll custom tailor it to your body. <laughs> 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 what? That's what happens. That's what happens. No, yeah, he literally steals does. the armor, and Zeus is kind of like, uh, uh, fine. Yeah, like, well, and then Zeus Zeus kind of says that that is the main reason he wants him to die. Then he's like, oh, "You took it one two step, one step too far. You took Patrick's <laughs> armor." Crossed the line. Yeah, right here. But I'm going to fit it to your body anyway, so that you could die with glory and honor. Yep. Yep. 
No, I love book 17, though, because it's like literally Menelaus's finest hour. Yeah, true. Finest well, hour. I like the, the comparison Dang. between like you had uh, a few chapters back. I don't remember what chapter it was, but you had Agamemnon's Day of Glory. And it was like he killed 10 people and then he was done. <laughs> that was his day of glory. <laughs> and then Menelaus is just like slashing people down. Just like he's a total beast going through here. And he like has a whole day where he's just actually getting all this glory and actually doing all the work Mm -hmm. and it's just complete uh, absolute savage complete uh, opposites between him and his brother and Menelaus is like his day of glory was so much better than Agamemnon's day of glory (laughs) he's like well Mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna go kill some people I might as well do it well and he's like (laughs) let's go (laughs) anyway so Menelaus though gets pushed back eventually and Mm -hmm. uh, this is my favorite like closing line as well to book 17 there was no check in the fighting just like this ominous one little line and that kind of talks about, and there's no check in the fighting, and it keeps going. Yeah. yeah. So Patrick Kloss did well, but his death will provide the spark that will start the fire that will burn the First Order. I mean, the Trojans. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I had to, I had to go there. Uh, <laughs> you haven't even noticed po- 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 that was right. <laughs> I know, As you said, I was like, man, that, that, that rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Alien wait. meets Star Wars. I did, I did find some. Well, you, you, you made a Star Wars reference. I did make a Star Wars reference. It was yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay. There is a very fun line in book Ooh. 17, though. Okay. Okay. Very literary, like, blah, blah, blah words. Okay. L- Editing. Liturgically. <laughs> like good. Literally. Yes. Okay. Interesting. I, l- a liter- lit- I know what a liturgy is. No, no I'm saying, like, literature wise, it's very well. It's very well done. Okay. Stylistic. Yeah. Stylistic. Yes. Okay. okay. I was like, is this guy a Presbyterian? I don't understand. <laughs> 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 okay. book, book of Common Prayer, Anglican, Episcopalian. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what's Stop. <top> of prayer? <laughs> book 17. <laughs> Line 423. In Robert Fagel's translation. Yes. So on they fought like a swirl of living fire. You could not say if the sun and moon still stood secure. So dense the battle haze that engulfed mm. the brave who stood their ground around Petroclos's body. But oh, the other no. Trojans and, yeah. It's so cinematic. Get, it's beautiful. It's, it's that's perfect. It was, Come on. That's a great line. It like, is. By mm-hmm. the way, another thing that I notice a lot that, that he uses as, as a style is like he uses like extended metaphors. And so he's like, Menelaus or Hector like roared into the forest like a boulder that keeps rolling and demolishes everything and goes down and breaks <laughs> into the river and keeps going. And he like <laughs> d- it divorces the metaphor from the person, like talks about the metaphor uh-huh. and is like, uh, th- that that person's like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole paragraph I just yeah, wrote, exactly. he's like that. And it's like, it's not even like, um, he's not even with Menelaus. He's like, Menelaus rolled like a rock <clears throat> and bounced in the river like a rock and killed people like a rock, demolishing people. It, it's, it's just the rock. It's just the rock he's the talking rock? about. I didn't even know he was in this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the rock just, yeah. And then, um, uh, we, we need to cast him in the Wing Brothers saga at some point, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, that, who I could mean, he be, though? Said. Because we already have... Yeah, well, Ru- he, he's an alternate Rudrick. He's the understudy for Rudrick. That's what I Support, said. Yeah, you exactly. what I said. If you want to listen to this episode. Or Nag the Nameless. Oh, yes. Anyway, <laughs> how do I get talking about that? Okay, so <laughs> that's what happened. Uh, that's what happened. That's a Patreon episode, yeah. by the way. Go support us. We will. You'll, you'll soon coming out will be an episode where you can hear like five minutes of us casting a live action for the Saga series. It was a ton of fun. You want to hear the whole one. You, the whole one, you gotta go support us. Uh. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so now we can actually like Talk about it. We talked about it a lot. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I like about this segment because we're having fun. We're talking about it. People can know what's going on and we're talking about it. Mm-hmm. And like discussion. So it's great. Okay. I think you just said talking about it like four times. <laughs> yeah. This is booking it. We're not talking. This is not talking about it. This is booking it. This is booking. We're, bo- we're booking it. We booked it a lot. Oh, yeah. We booked it so much. That, so wow. well. We booked it so much and so well. <laughs> Isaiah's just like, no. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Um, okay. Let's talk about Hera and Zeus a little bit. Now, let's be adults, Tanner. Um, uh, that was not that was not targeted, but it I'm was. So <laughs> let's be adults. being mature. I had didn't. I have not said a word about that. So like, what's the significance? I'm very proud of you. Tom. Of like Thank where you, Thank where you. Hera and Zeus that that stuff happens. Like, what's the significance of that as compared to what happens next and things like that? It's stupid. Yeah, we, that's not like w- w- why did Homer <laughs> put that there? Like, what's significant about it? And just completely distracting Zeus. Like, yeah. It, it it really follows Zeus's passions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it's just showing like how passion driven Zeus is. That's a good point. And yeah. he's not he doesn't care about really the outcome of the battle, just so long as it pleases him. Just so long as it fulfills his desires and his passions. Mm-hmm. Like it's his entertainment, honestly. Like really? <laughs> I think, the Hunger Games, yeah. I think it also shows like 
that even though he's supposed to be super all powerful and all that, he still has a weakness that can yeah. be yeah. used he's against still, him. Yeah, human. That is in his some way. main weakness, I think, mm-hmm. considering how many. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like <laughs> Bryson yeah, said, of those girls. <laughs> that goes back to like what Bryson said earlier. He's like, well, when Zeus said it, it was final, and I'm like, well, actually. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what I was getting at though is that it's kind of contrasted with Patrick Loss getting ready, like oh. Hera getting ready to go see Zeus. It's like Patrick Loss putting on the armor. Oh yeah. And yeah. so it's portrayed as like this is Hera's way of fighting, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Um. Anyway, that's what I was. That's what I was. Going I thought it was. But really you guys, you were right. You guys are all smart, <laughs> said smart things. So. That's I also not the smart. I also thought it was wore. really interesting when Aphrodite started helping her, and it's like, yeah, her. Why her, did Aphrodite oh, yeah, 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 yeah. want to help her? No, Hera's like, like, listen, girl, I know we've had some bad things between us. She had literally told here, literally, ladies, to literally the cause, yeah, literally the cause of the war right there, yeah, exactly. you know, and like, I don't and, know. And Aphrodite's like, I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> Here's the necklace. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man. Oh man. Um. Okay. Next we have Zeus and Poseidon. So we get like a lot of interesting co- contrasting characters here. Oh, so I like did we like have that. like opposing people. Like we have Hector and Patroclus, we have Hector and Menelaus, we have Zeus and Hera, we have Hera and Aphrodite, all these people. But a main character we haven't seen before is Poseidon. Yeah. What a man. What a man. Uh, more, what a god. Yeah, the brother, okay, the what brother a god. of Zeus. And, um, and I was also really confused about this after reading Theogony. Is he I thought he was born before Zeus. Zeus was the youngest. He was the yeah, technically Youngest. Poseidon is older than mm-hmm. Zeus because he was because born. Because times in this book they do say Zeus the oldest born or Zeus the first born, but I think that's well, just... Well, he's first a, born yeah. in comparison... So here's... Just in power. We'll explain. So he's first born in comparison to everybody but these three... But the three big guys. Okay? Hades, okay. Which is Hades... Nope. Mm. Hades, Poseidon, and himself. Okay? These are the three brothers yeah. and these are the most powerful. Yeah. They each got a division of Earth. Okay? Right. Mm-hmm. But this is Percy Jackson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, this is straight up Percy Jackson. Uh-huh. Like, uh, yeah. Strike that, reverse it. Um. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, the interesting thing to note is that out of the three of them, Zeus is the youngest. Right. Because both Poseidon so, and Hades were eaten. So I see two explanations. Number okay. one, um, the firstborn or father just means something like um, when it refers to like Christ being the firstborn of creation mm-hmm. in Colossians, it's not saying he was the first one created. Just like yeah. that's what Jehovah's Witnesses and yeah. Muslims will say. But that's not true. What it's saying is he's the chief, the head of creation. Mm-hmm. So when it says firstborn, it could just be meaning he's the head, the chief of the gods. Secondly, the Iliad could have had like an alternate um, alternate hierarchy, alternate um, – I don't know what I'm looking for. Uh, chart of the God. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you call it when you like – uh, family tree. Family Alt- yeah, tree. yeah, exactly. On alternate genealogy. There are differences in the Iliad versus the Theogony, so this could be one of them, yes. but I'm not sure. Like but Aphrodite. those are two explanations I see. Like Aphrodite, yeah. yeah. I like Homer's version of Aphrodite better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the <laughs> it is true. Okay. Uh, anything else to say about Zeus and Poseidon? Like, we, do we, we kind of see... Their well, dynamic? I liked uh, Poseidon, like, debating whether he should keep on fighting and, like, just completely... Um, go against the word of Zeus. He's like, I, I could totally beat him. He's like, Wait, who was sent as the messenger? Iris. Again. Iris? Iris? Iris, yeah. Iris okay, I love the, the mm-hmm. funniest part out of all of this, I believe, truly, is that um, Poseidon is over there and um, uh, Zeus like says all of this to Iris, right? And Iris goes down and says exactly what Zeus said, okay? Like he had, had yes. to make no alterations, right? right? right. No. And then Poseidon says everything that he wants to everything that he's like says right and it's like all heated and passionate uh-huh. and stuff and, and then iris, iris is like, is like you do sure you really want to say that, that? <laughs> it's like siri do you want to send <laughs> <laughs> are you sure are you absolutely sure you want to incur this wrath on yourself <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be pretty heated after that imagine imagine what yeah, would have happened oh, honestly if there was a different what, what? another way miss emily may have just discovered something what siri is iris backwards no way. No <laughs> way. <laughs> no. Somebody Google this. Isaiah, Google this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? No, is it Siri? Ba- Siri is based off of something Greek, but it's not that. It's Hold a on. different thing. Like, there's another. Um, <laughs> what are you I'm doing, convinced. Isaiah? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've seen enough. I think you've seen enough. <laughs> there's another thing. I, believe I truly I believe. believe. It's like on, it's some. Here. It's based off of something Greek, but it's different. You can keep going. Yeah. I, I think. I think we also see here like just the. Uh, the brotherhood between like Zeus and Poseidon is just keep getting torn apart by this war, and uh-huh. just the the adultery of the gods. Why can it be adultery if you're not married? I don't know. Um, the <laughs> sexual morality of the gods with their mm-hmm. all the things that they've done just keeps pitting the gods against each other. Yep. Divisions, wars, all of it's bad. Constant. And like we can we can see like when when people are pagans, it 
it does not go well. <laughs> it no work. No. It do not work well. <laughs> no. And that's just like so obvious here. Even between the people who are supposed to be like the rulers of the world. Mm-hmm. They're just so petty. They're so consumed with their passions, as you talked about, Bryson. Yeah, they're And desires. dividing against themselves. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, okay, next we have Patroclus and Achilles. So, one of the best parts so far. Okay, wait. I figured out oh. Siri. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Tell us. Siri is not named after anything Greek, okay? Which is ironic. But it is uh, um, inspired by creator um, Dag Kitlos, his Norwegian... Norwegian heritage, according to Wikipedia. Wow, and that's Apple. so sad. Yeah, Isn't <laughs> according that? to the great all-knowing Wikipedia. But it could also be Iris, which is... I, I think that it's too much to be a coincidence, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it has to be. Yeah, say, what about you? Well, and I thought... What are you finding? I thought Iris was... Well, I thought Hermes was the messenger of the gods. Is Iris like an no, alternate? No, yeah, Hermes is about? like the... Quote, unquote, the messenger. I think it means more than just... Messages. Hermes is like the messenger between the gods... Well, no. Well, Iris delivers Iris messages far and across. I think Hermes is kind of like the guy who uh, Iris. Um, uh, he does a lot of like dealing people, like dealing. You know yeah. Hermes yeah. Um, talks to um, like when you go and read Greek mythology. Hermes talks to a lot of like humans. We are reading. No, Greek I'm mythology. saying <laughs> other Greek we mythology like that's Greek not mythology. like because we're not doing or that. like you know mainly based off of humans, mm-hmm. right? Like mainly on the gods. Okay, so you're saying Iris mainly communicates between the like gods. Like Iris is main is like the main messenger between the gods, but oh, generally gotcha. Hermes goes to go talk to humans. Okay. Because Iris goes and she jumps across the he's clouds like the lower using a um rainbow. Right. The, he's the lowercase <sighs> m mediator between yes. men and okay. I'm mm-hmm. just finding the same thing Tanner said. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, we got uh Patrick Ross means Iris. and Achilles. Which is awesome, honestly. So, it, okay, what, what did we learn about Achilles' character, like, in all of this? He had so many opportunities to kind of win his glory. And now he's, like, giving more and more ground. He's like, okay, Patrick Gloss, you can go. Like, what is the whole situation with what he prays to Zeus, what he tells to Pat, tells Patrick Gloss to do? How does all that tell – what does that tell us about his character? Mm, what I, more did we learn? I, I, I don't know. Um, I keep keep thinking, though, like – uh, who is fueled by what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, where is Patroclus's fuel coming from? Because most of Hector's, at least that we read, it's just always Apollo. It's like literally the god Apollo is just following him and giving anytime him all he needs a boost. Needs. Anytime he needs a yes, boost. Yes. And I mean, every now and then you'll you'll realize he is going off of his own strength, his own power. But it's most of the time it's for glory for himself. Eventually, for the for the city, for the people that he's protecting. But in the moment, it's for himself. But then Patroclus, you never hear that that one of the gods is giving him strength. No, that one of the gods is like fueling him in that moment. I mean, obviously, uh, Athena is nowhere to be found, so like, Athena could have been doing it. But um, I wonder how much how how we can compare Patroclus and Hector, like uh, just strength wise. Like, was Patroclus just that much stronger than Hector that it took a Weakened Patroclus and a God-filled Hector mm-hmm. for Patroclus to finally die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that was that was some uh, yeah, some strength. Oh yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think so. Hmm. Dude, when John Wick mode on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I think for a bit. Going back to Achilles, like we see that he is still like not willing to give all the glory sacrificially to someone else. Like he's still. Wants Patrick Loss to push them back but not go all the way. Yeah. Kind just of like selfishly. Agamemnon. Just like, I'll give you all the gifts. I'll give you... That's one thing I think. Yeah, give. you'll be subordinate to me. You know, I'll whatever. give you all the gifts. I'll, I'll give you my uh, my daughter too and you'll be my son-in-law and just, just submit to me. Just say, I'm the better man. Just say it. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's all he wants. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, but Achilles is also wanting just, yeah, his own self-glory and so even his best friend is going to die because he just wanted them to get the right moment for him to imagine that like you're just you you want your glory to be so so high so uh your fame to be lauded in all the earth but you're willing to sacrifice your own best friend yeah for that just for you just for and you th- I mean, I mean, technically you know. technically he tried to pray to get him back but also it's kind of like i mean don't send to him be fair to though, battle right right to be fair though this was, was all Petroclus's idea and his idea to get his own glory as well. 
Yeah. He, well, he, and, no, and dude, he comes in crying. Like, my people are dying. He's trying to get... I want to help them. You're not helping them. I'm going to take this in my own hands. I know, and he, he tries to get uh, Achilles out there, too, with him. Right. I mean, he's like, if you're, if you're going to... Please go. But if not, then well, let, let me take me your go. armor. No, it is... He goes beyond the wall. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, okay. Achilles. Miss Emily's right. So she mm-hmm. said that at a certain point, though, Petroclos does go too far. He goes beyond what was safe and what God warned him not to cross. Yeah. And so what Zeus he, wanted him not to cross and what Achilles wanted him not to cross. Exactly. Like he had pushed, as soon as he started pushing the Trojans back, he should have left. Is what they wanted mm-hmm. him to do. But he didn't. He didn't obey. Yeah, he was just there to protect the boats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tr- just turn the tide, turn mm-hmm. the tide back in, in um, metaphor. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, yeah. When you, when you, what Miss Emily is saying? Yes. Well, when you're when you're leaving, when you're winning, like who's gonna leave when you're winning? You're just gonna want right. to keep pursuing that win. It's like mm-hmm. when you're on a roll when you're betting. You just want to keep. Yes, like and Cooper Blackjack, from experience. Like, yeah, <laughs> unless <laughs> all the time, unless you're me and you're just smart and you walk oh, over hedge my oh, bets. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I wish so that calling Patrick, us not smart. Listen, huh? this all could have been avoided if Patrick Claus had just heard the gambler by Kenny Chess. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know when to hold them, no one to fold them, yeah. and no one to run. <laughs> all right, no you got to run. run. <laughs> wow. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's when done. The dealing's done. Or when and the Apollo says done. that dealing is done. Smacks him. Okay. That's all I had. Any bills? Bryson, do you have any other notes that you uh, want to get through? I had something about, I wanted to read, going back to Menelaus. Honestly, Menelaus and Ajax were my two favorite in, in this section. Uh, both of them fighting over the body of Patroclus and wanting to save him. Um, but so, so Menelaus in book 17, like around line 100 in what? This is the Fagel's edition. Uh, he's talking about, like, he's debating between himself whether he should stay, whether he should go, whether he should be fighting for his own glory, or whether he should be fighting to preserve uh, Patroclus. And he says, what can I do if I leave the splendid gear and desert Patroclus, who fell here fighting, all to redeem my honor? Won't any comrade curse me, seeing me break away? So he's, he's talking, it's more like, what will people see in me? Um, not not what am I actually doing? Um but if I should take on Hector and Hector's Trojans alone in single combat, trying to save my pride, the flashing Hector has all Troy on, at his back. But why debate, my friend? Why thrash things out? If you fight a man against the will of the gods, a man may have sworn to honor. Then look out. A heavy wave of ruins about to overwhelm you. Surely no Achaean will curse me, seeing me now giving ground to Hector. So he, he eventually, he, he realizes, he, he realizes what Patroclus didn't. He's like, I can see... Even though we have, we had the we had the tide, the tide is now turning against us, and I better, I better, I better leave now. Yeah. yeah, book it out of there. Hey, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, well, uh, Sarpedon. Yeah. Oh yeah, fighting over him too. Fighting over fighting over bodies and the um, uh, what is it? Here's the city man. That's one of the only things it talked about this week was men being beasts and right. and men like just hoarding and wanting to yeah. literally have animal like cut the, cut the carcass off another animal kind of thing take the pelt back ooh shiny so the about it, they about the mm-hmm. yeah they're fighting yeah well, when you fight over when you fight over the body it becomes more personal more passion led yeah mm-hmm. i'm just only saying when you yeah they stop fighting the war just to like gain ground and they start fighting over the one body and it's like why? Pretty weird. <laughs> like, is this about the war? Or is this about you and like trying to gain your own personal wealth right there? In, yes. In the midst the of the battle. The answer is yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole. That's the that's a whole part of glory, and I want treasures laid up right now instead yeah, right. of later. Like, they're they're even so impatient as to not be able to wait till the end when they can like capture the city and take all the wealth out of the city. They want the wealth right now. Right. And mm-hmm. they they aren't willing to wait. So was it Diomedes, the guy who? Met that guy, and they were like, "Oh, hospitality." So, uh, guy who met the guy, uh, exchange armor, I guess. And uh, oh, oh, cool, yeah, cool, Glaucus. Oh, yeah. that's another thing that happened that uh, I wanted to say. Like, uh, Hector, what does Hector do? He's not willing to fight over the body of Sarpedon. He just leaves Sarpedon in the dust, and he doesn't really try to get him. And so that was that was Glaucus's main uh, chief. That was his chief. Oh. And he's like, "Okay, 
you're, you weren't willing to save him. I'm not willing to save you. And he pulls out of there with all the Lycians. Oh, he takes all hey, the Lycians yo. with him. And it's just like that one moment of failure to lead in Hector. That one moment of I'm not going to save the body of my fallen comrade who uh, who led the charge, who was the one that broke down the wall, who was the one that did all of his work when he was broken, when he was hurting. He was like, I'm just going to leave you. And, and – I mean, maybe you could say it was a smart tactic because I mean he was pretty far in the lines, uh, on the on the Achaean side. Right. But still, that was like the so man that had led the charge. Is is fighting over your own soldier? Is that like noble? Is that a noble thing to do? Is that what Homer thinks? I would think so. Yeah. Homer definitely said. I mean, I think so. Like the, the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hector going over Patroclus. Right. Yeah. Not yeah. Them silly. Not mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Okay. So we decided it is noble because Menelaus yes. was awesome. We all agree. Hector thinks so too. Yes. Trying to defend people from Patroclus, and then also and they want them to have. Glaucus is like, bro, why are you being such a jerk? Not fighting for Sarpedon. Yeah, and they had they had their moment of glory and fame, and they fought they fought to preserve. Their glory, they fought to preserve. I don't know how many of them were really preserving the city. I mean, did did Priam promise all of these these other like the you know the people that uh, Diomedes and Odysseus murder in the night? Those people had come from the Thracians. I think that's what they're called. They came from somewhere else. The Lycians came from somewhere else. Uh, I know there's like two or three other bands of people that aren't right, from aren't Troy. Like, these aren't like altogether united whole kingdoms. No, no. The Greeks and Trojans. They're pretty much separated. Mm-hmm. It, it sounds like the, the Greeks are... M- they're more fractured. They're more yes. fractured because Troy is more of a city-state, whereas Greece is kind of a collection of different mm-hmm. kingdoms. Like Odysseus is the king of where he's from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of Ith- Ithaca. So, yes. Like, yes. Okay. Well, I think that's all I had. Cool. Ready to move on? Yep. Well, so and the donor shout-outs. And uh, guys, I need to make an apology here because somehow, some way, <laughs> we, we Isaiah, Isaiah's cousins got dropped from the donor shout-outs list. And my aunt and uncle. Oh. Yeah, and your aunt and uncle. We oh. don't really know how. We can't see... When it happened or how it just their maybe names Matthew got was just like sabotaging us somehow. I don't know from the, from from beyond. No, the, ghost. <laughs> Matthew wouldn't. the ghost of Matthew. The ghost of Matthew. No, but uh, we don't know what happened. They just got deleted off the list, so we didn't do it the last. Yeah, episodes. so we're sorry about that. And uh, in honor, we're gonna give you a special shout out. So Moses, Sarah, mm-hmm. and Jenny, Uncle yes. Sam. Thank you for donating. Thank you for donating. Sorry, we'll we make it up somehow. We sincerely appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. You know what? We're gonna make them the heroes of our story. Oh, oh, I forgot. We're so, doing story time. Story, story time. Moses and Zara are gonna be on the Greek side. And Ooh. Jenny and Uncle Sam are going to be on the Trojans. Oh. And guess what? Okay. They're in a conflict. And this no. time, the conflict is going to be resolved. But we got to figure out how it's going to happen. So we're going to do that. Oh, boy. So, mm. Bryson, why don't, you, why don't you start us off, okay? So we have Nana and we have Van Papi and Wayla. And yes. they're entering the fray. They're entering the, the fray. Between the Trojan War. As who? As who? Well, we could give them... Well, they're their own characters. Yeah. This is, they are... Oh, they, I, they are they are legends. They are okay. because they're donating okay. to us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so they are. Wait, which side did you say there? I get to. You, you can the, pick. Okay. Here, you, First, you, they are you on. Can tell your story with those. Yes. Yes. Well. Okay. They are on the Trojan side. This is the day before. This is okay. This is while all of the the Achaeans are deciding they are going to, or Agamemnon wants to leave. This is the night that they want to leave, and. Uh, and and Jenny and Uncle Sam, they are going to, from the, the Greek side, they are going to go in and take down this group of uh, <laughs> this group of Trojans in the middle of the night, and they are going... Wait, weren't they on the Trojan side? Yeah. They were on the Trojan side. <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage! <laughs> they, are they in disguise here, incognito? <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. So do, I need to, do I need to start this off? Yes, you okay, do. Yeah, yeah, you probably do. We have... Okay, so... Uh, on the Trojan side, we have Aunt Jenny and Uncle Sam, who desperately are trying to defend their city after they stole the lovely Nana away t- to be a, a bride for their son. Oh. Um, and <laughs> Van Pappy and Wayla, the king king daddies over in Greece, are not happy. And so they send over the legendary warriors, Moses and Zara. But unfortunately, their two top chieftains, Isaiah's grandparents, get in a fight, and it's not going well. Mm. And so they're trying to recover desperately. We're trying to make peace with Troy, but everything's not looking great. Yeah. All right, Bryson, take take over. Trying to make peace with Troy. Everything's not looking great. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try to remember who you haven't <laughs> done already. So 
I just worked down the list. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have uh, Anna on the uh, Kane side leading the charge. Hopefully, she's going to break through. We don't know. She's met by Keenan from the Trojans, mm. and he he is really rampaging up a storm. H- his glory is is racking up. It's a uh, it's pretty yeah pretty crazy going on there. So then we have yeah oh yeah so. <laughs> Isaiah's gonna tell a story of his parents. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So my yeah, parents. We have Keenan. Keenan, right now, he is just absolutely destroying everything from the Trojan side. Keenan's mm-hmm. on the Trojan side. So my parents come into the fray, and they're like, "Yo, come on, we got to do this differently. We got to attack from both sides. You know, we got to we outflank yeah, we gotta them. Yeah, we got to outflank them. You know, got to think smart. So then they go in. My dad going to one side. I'm going to the other. And then they attack. Keenan's starting to get pushed back. The Eagles. Eagles. The Calvary. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who's left? I, I'm totally lost on uh, yeah, Emily. Emily. Okay. And, and then Jenny. Emily and Howdy are the non <laughs> – they're on no side. Oh, no, okay. no. <laughs> Emily and Howdy are the gods. Okay? Ooh. Are they going to peace make? Are they going to peace make? No, no. Emily and Howdy are going to – um, Someone has to be uh, Apollo. Someone both has to be decide Athena. that in order for this to end peaceably, they're going to destroy both in both what? camps. Oh. In order for there to be Alternate peace in the, in the realm. <laughs> Alternate ending. So Straight neither Thanos side here. Can, <laughs> neither side can win. So they destroy them both, and they let a little remnant survive. <laughs> that is led by Miss Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is, she will rebuild the world. <laughs> Miss Jenny is the remnant. My mother, yeah. <laughs> she will rebuild the world. Miss Jenny alone lives. <laughs> She's the promo for the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> what you uh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I, I liked it a lot. I thought that was pretty awesome. Yes. We'll get better at doing that as yes, we go along. We'll, we will. We will. Yeah. Uh, once I get them to play this game with me. It's a it's an impromptu game. Okay, so cool. We're, we're, when I get them to play this game with me, they will understand how to be able to do this well. Okay. All right, Tanner, why don't you tell us how people can find us and see us and yes, stuff. Yes, yes. All good things, all good things. <laughs> see us. <Whoa>. So <laughs> down in the description below, we have uh, um, the Demon app called Instagram, as Mr. No way, I can't tell As Mr. Jenny likes to call it. Um, uh, you can follow us at at Booking It Pod on Instagram. We also have a beautiful website where you can find all of our different episodes and you can listen on any of your favorite platforms from there or you could listen directly from the website. We also have some great merch that's going to be coming out within the next couple of weeks. Be looking forward for that. And uh, then what else am I missing? Oh, sign up for our newsletter. Mm -hmm. We have a newsletter that comes out every month. We also have a blog that should be coming out soon as well where me and Cooper will be extending deep thoughts. (laughs) Oh yeah, in the literary and uh, entertainment realm. Mm. Anyways, how and, delightful and, and biblical, biblical stuff and too. biblical stuff as well. How delightful! So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good. Okay, well, folks, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next Monday with North of Eaton. Mm-hmm. It's a great yeah. episode. We already recorded it yesterday. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, all right, tell your friends, support us, five star rating and review. We love you guys. Bye bye. Until next time, keep on booking. It.